Hey, what's up guys? I'm BTC. Hope you're still hyped from the Doomfist teaser yesterday. If you're wondering what the release schedule for Doomfist and the Summer Games is going to be, don't worry, because I think I've pretty much nailed down what the schedule and the release time for all the new stuff is going to be. So yesterday we got the first teaser for what is almost certainly going to be the brand new playable character, Doomfist. But people are wondering, well, now that we got the first teaser, when are we going to get more information? And more importantly, when are we actually going to get to play the character? Also, others are wondering, when are we going to get the Summer Games? Because that should be coming up pretty soon as well. Well, I went back a little bit and I kind of checked how the older characters were released. Now, Anna was kind of just all over the place. There didn't seem to be too much rhyme or reason to how that character was released. And then with Sombra, it was just a really big mess. It was kind of dragged out for way, way too long. And by the time we actually got the character, although people were still excited, it was like, you know, eh, I don't know. It felt like it had just been dragged on for way too long. So with Orisa. Blizzard came up with kind of a new strategy. They would start about a week out and they would drop a teaser. Then a couple days later, they would drop another teaser. A couple days later, they would drop another teaser. And then basically they would do the announcement that way. And it seemed to work really well. Now, whether or not people actually liked Orisa as a character, the overall response to how it was released was overwhelmingly positive. And it seems that Blizzard is going to continue to do that, and they just started with the new character Doomfist just yesterday. So in this video, I'm going to go over what I think is going to be the complete release schedule for Doomfist and the Summer Games. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because I always make these videos whenever cool stuff like this is updated. So subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any of it. So in order to figure out the new stuff, we got to jump back a little bit. Now, I'm going to be ignoring all of the data mine stuff from the PTR and unofficial leaks. None of that matters. The only thing we're looking at is the official announcements from Blizzard because that's how we're going to figure out the timetable for Doomfist and the Summer Games. So back in February on the 21st, we got the first official announcement of a new character or the first teaser. And this came in the form of a news article that introduced us to Efi, who was this genius from Nubani who was interested in robotics. Then three days later, we got another teaser about the Nubani airport being attacked and a bunch of the OR-15 bots being destroyed. And then the Doomfist gauntlet was stolen. Then three days after that, on February 27th, we got the third and final teaser for Orisa. Basically, it talked about what Efi was doing with her money from the Genius Grant and in response to the attack on Nubani. So you put all this together and basically you could figure out that it was going to be a new Omnic hero. And then three days after that, Orisa was added to the PTR and everybody got to play her. On March 21st, Orisa was officially added to the live versions of the game for PC and console. So looking at this, you can see there's a really simple pattern. They have a teaser, three days later, another teaser, three days later, another teaser, three days after that, you get it on the PTR. So what we can expect for Doomfist is almost certainly going to be at least two more teasers, and then he's going to be added to the PTR. Now, it doesn't mean that we're only going to get three. They might have more than that, but... I think that they're pretty much going with this sort of pattern, and the reason for that is because it seemed to really work quite well. People enjoyed it. Now, yes, it's a little bit on the predictable side. We can expect to get another teaser three days after the first one, but the thing is, people kind of like that. The problem with the Sombra announcement was that it was all over the place. So it's good to have unpredictability on when the character is actually going to happen, but once Blizzard starts the ball rolling, they need to be consistent. And I think having the three days after the first teaser, then you get the second one, and then the third one, another three days after that, and then three days after that, you get the character on the PTR. I think people like that sort of predictability. So what does this mean for Doomfist? So we got the first Doomfist teaser yesterday, which was July 4th. We can expect the second one three days later on Friday, July 7th. And then three days after that on Monday, July 10th, we can get the third teaser. Then three days after that, which is Thursday, July 13th, 
I'm fully expecting that we have a playable version of Doomfist on the PTR. Now if we look at Orisa's timetable and apply that to Doomfist, it matches up and coincides perfectly with the release of the 2017 Summer Games. So last year the Summer Games were released on the first Tuesday of August, which happened to be August 2nd. This year, the first Tuesday is August 1st. But let's look at this and kind of overlap it a little bit. Orisa was officially released on the live versions of the servers exactly four weeks after the very first teaser. And if we jump ahead four weeks from the first Doomfist teaser, it will land on August 1st, which is almost certainly going to be the full release date of the Doomfist character and the start of the Summer Games. So looking at this timetable here, again, Doomfist, the first teaser was on the 4th. We're probably going to get another one on the 7th, the 10th, and then he gets put on the PTR on the 13th. Then, a couple weeks later, on August 1st, we will get the full live release of the new character Doomfist, as well as the start of the Summer Games. And then, a couple weeks later, on the 22nd of August, will be the end of the 2017 Summer Games. So there you have it, that's my full speculation on the timetable and schedule for Doomfist and the Summer Games. Let me know what you guys think about all this, leave your feedback down in the comments below. Also don't forget to check out my Discord server where you can join the community and find other players to group with. The link for that is in the description. Thanks for watching, hit that like button, remember always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Also special thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping to make this all possible. If you'd like to see what kind of cool rewards you can get for supporting the channel, check the links on screen and down below.